The word of God is as powerful unto us, amen. So at this time, we're going to call St. Timothy a choir to minister in a music selection. And at this, that time, I'll ask you all to stand and please receive the messenger of the Lord, Pastor Clarence A. Powell. One more time, 
give him your best praise. I'm ready to have church, y'all. I said, I'm ready to have church, y'all. How many of you ready to have church? If you're ready to celebrate the Lord, clap your hands. Stand to your feet. God has been too good to us. I say he's been good to us. He's been good to me. He's been good to you. If you know the Lord's been good to you, you ought to wave your hand and say, God has been good to me. I truly thank God. You may be seated. I truly thank God for being here. I thank him. I said, I thank him. I said, I thank him. Because I'm going to tell you about why I thank him. But first, I want to give honor to all that's here. I honor Reese. Amen. Come on, let's, let's praise him. We can't praise him enough. The house has been addressed. All these fine preachers and district missionaries. Congratulations, district missionary, district missionary. God bless everyone that's here. I know time is far spent, amen. But I thank God for Pastor Edwards, amen. I said, I thank God for him. We got ordained together. Matter of fact, when we were standing in line, we, we were standing right side by side, each other. Uh, I know it probably looked like a cartoon. This big guy standing next to a little short guy. But it was, it's all right. I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for my own wife. Amen. Come on, let's give her some love. <laughs> first time I met her Temple of Hope I think let me let me back up thank God for Temple of Hope come on Temple of Hope thank God for my own children amen I thank God for my own children before I got saved I, the Lord was working with me and I said Lord I want to get, I want to get saved. You know what? God does hear sinners. I said, Lord, I want to get saved. But, but, I want a wife. And I said, with my worldly mind, that's another church women look appealing to me. Not that I'm looking at nobody else's wife. But I didn't like how the church women dressed. <laughs> I mean, can I be honest? Can I be honest? Can I be honest? Be careful. God hears your He hears your thoughts. And we was at a place, and I was waiting on my sister to pick me up. And she was late. She was late. But it was God's perfect timing. First lady, she, she came and spoke. I spoke. And I was mad that my sister was late. Matter of fact, she was about two hours late. And you two, y'all could imagine. 
I'm sitting here somewhere I'm ready to go waiting on a ride and this woman came up and spoke and I, and I said okay I'm all, she asked me how was I doing I said okay I'm doing alright I'm doing alright I'm thinking in my mind why she leave me alone I'm angry why don't she just leave me alone she kept talking And when she finally left, I looked up and, I, and it just hit me. This is it. This is the one. The second time I saw her, I told her, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> Am I right, first lady? I was not saved. Thank God for Mother Thomas. She met me. Come on, yes, clap your hands for her. She asked me, was I saved? And I began to deflect. My mama saved. My sister saved. And she said, what about you? <laughs> Are you saved? And I said, no. She just looked, looked at me like her mama would. Like, I don't know why you talking to my daughter. She didn't say it, though. But guess what? I end up getting saved. Not just because I wanted her. Because the Lord had already been chasing me, y'all. And he answered a thought. Lord, if you do this for me, I'll get saved. And now it's my time to hold up the end of my bargain. And I've been running for my life ever since then. <laughs> Through ups and downs. Yes, sir. I thank God. But this time last year, I'm going to get to the, to the scripture and to our theme. But this time last year, y'all see me on this walker. It's okay. I said it's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. I need. Uh, I want to get off of it, but it's it's okay because I'm still saved. I'm still in the land of living. Cause this time last year, I was in a hospital fighting for my life. Between the years 2018 to this year, I've had five surgeries, four on my back, and one on my throat, and I'm still... I said, I'm still... year I had one of those major back pains and it was so bad I went to the hospital my son Clayton took me to the hospital to see about my back but then something was going wrong while I was there in the waiting room, in the in the operator, no operator, in the what they call it in the back, emergency room. Thank you. I felt my life slipping away. Glory, glory, glory. 
And Clayton called his mother, my wife, Mama, you need to hurry up and get here. When I went there, they checked me out. And my wife looked at my leg. She said, look at his leg. He's got cellulitis. Which I don't know if anybody know anything about cellulitis. It's a, it's a, 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 a skin. Uh, how do you know how what it is? Infection get up under your skin. And it gets in your bloodstream. They said I was septic. Anybody know what septic means? That means poison. It's in all in your body. I got a reason to praise him. That infection was all in my leg. They admitted me. Gave me all kind of medicine. Then they sent me to a nursing facility. Try to get me back. And I'm still felt like I was losing my life. They kicked me out. And said, you ain't doing no, you're not trying to recover. Get out, pretty much. But I was in too much pain. Because they did not address what I originally went to the hospital for. God is good. I heard Elder Edwards, Pastor Edwards' testimony a few weeks ago. And I thought about what God has done for his people. Once they got rid of that infection, they kicked me out. I still had back pain. That was in October. That November, I went back for the surgery. Went through Thanksgiving, but my back started hurting again. And I went back to the hospital. And they said, okay, we get you're gonna do this MRI. They looked at me. Y'all can sit down, y'all can sit down, y'all can sit down. But before they scheduled the surgery, guess what else happened? COVID hit me in my lungs. My back is still hurting because that surgery didn't do what it's supposed to do. November. COVID in January. And after that surgery, the surgeon came in. He said, I can see what I did didn't work. But he said, rest assured. I could push you out of the back of an airplane and that surgery is going to last. That's what he told me. And you know what? My back is doing okay. No, I don't want to be pushed out of an airplane to see if it works. But I believe it. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody. That's part of my testimony. That's part of my testimony. Let me let me read what we got, what we got here. Our theme is walking, trusting, and living in the favor of God. 
And your scripture is found in Jeremiah 17 and 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Clap your hands for the reading of his word. You know, a few weeks ago, when was that? Uh, we was at uh, Pastor Sullen. What, y'all, y'all, that was y'all two weeks ago, and, and y'all had me to have words to say. And I don't know if it's obvious that God is still doing a work on me, but I still have to walk with this. And that was the first service that I had gotten out because I, I, I just didn't want the people of God to see me with this. I, I, over the years, y'all, y'all been knowing me for a long time. And I know probably some of you remember I walked on a cane for a while. Then this. Amen. But, but, but uh, I just didn't want nobody to see me in this condition. And, and first lady, I thank God for her. She, she talked me into it. The whole time, nothing against uh, 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 missionary Pastor Sullivan, nothing against y'all. That, that, was, that was not my issue because I love y'all. I, I, I just didn't want the people of God to see me like this because sometimes I lose my balance still. That's all right. No, I have not fallen. Thank, thank and praise God. But, but, but I just didn't want nobody to see me. And I, I went and, and, and was there. And I was enjoying myself, enjoying the word. Pastor Edwards. But before they, they gave me, us, who are the visiting elders and pastors, uh, opportunity to speak. Amen. And I'm sitting there. Oh, God. I didn't come here for this. I'm thinking, how am I going to get up here? What uh, going over my mind? My, my nerves start getting bad. And, and I could feel uh, 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 me getting, getting on edge. And, and I was getting antsy. And I, and I was telling my wife, uh, I need your help to do this. And, and she couldn't hear me because the music was going wild, going loud. And, and I said, oh, God, I'm getting worse. How, what am I going to do? God, what am I going to do? Thank God for smart watches. God will use the very thing, little things to calm you down. Thank God I was, I was wearing my Apple Watch. And my watch sent me an alert. And said, your blood, your, 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 your blood, your heartbeat is at an elevated level. I said, I know it is. I didn't need this thing to tell me this. But then I heard the Lord say, settle down. I can't remember what I said, but I was thinking about what am I going to do? And when they asked me to speak here, that thing started all over again. I quickly said, yeah. I said, yeah, I'll do it. But then my body said, hold, hold, hold on, son. What are you doing? <laughs> then there was a fight in my mind all over again. But right now, I tell y'all, I got the victory. Trust in the Lord. I got a reason. How many of you got a reason to trust in the Lord?
I, I said I'm sorry, y'all. But sometimes I just can't help myself. We just celebrated 30 years of marriage. No, no, uh, 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 yeah, that, that's okay, but I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. We went to the church. Uh, they, they gave us a place to go to overnight. Thank God it was nice. Amen. Went to a nice restaurant. What was the name of that restaurant? Who? 1933. 1933. I don't know. I never heard of it. A 19 what? I still couldn't remember the name of it, just like now. And I just never heard of it. Went there. And I ordered a, a, a ribeye. And I told Tipple of Hope. I, I, I ordered this ribeye. And that was the best tasting steak that I ever had. And I said, it, it was seasoned well. And I told Temple of Hope, God has seasoned us to perfection. When I look over here, Y'all a season to perfection. What do I mean by season? Going through trials. Going through everything that any, whatever that's been thrown at you and you suffered and, and been delivered from it. God has seasoned you. Y'all said, Pastor Ed was push y'all. I'm pretty sure some wasn't happy with it. That's right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Boy, this one got quiet now. Uh, preach it anyhow, so. Y'all, y'all help me out. <laughs> we got you. We got you. Well, here, help yourself. Preach, pastor. Yeah. But it was for your good. When I was at Robinson Temple, can I still testify, y'all? I felt like every time Pastor Winfrey had the opportunity, he would thump my head. Y'all don't remember that, do you? Yeah, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> you know I know. <laughs> it got so bad in my mind. In my mind. I said, I'm done with this. I'm leaving. But Pastor Huggins, Superintendent Huggins, he's in Ohio now. He grabbed me. I was going to go to my car. And leave my wife and children behind. That's how bad, how mad I was. <laughs> I would have came back. He grabbed me and said, you ain't going nowhere. You got to sit here and take it. When I got home, I said, Lord, what's going on? He said, sit there and take it. It's for your good. And now I see why I had to go that route. Because one thing it put in me is tenacity. Because this thing right here, the, what I've been through, I needed tenacity to go through it because I easily could have walked away from God. Let me get back to the word. Jeremiah had an issue. He had a problem. He was surrounded 
by people that didn't love God. It got so bad for Jeremiah. He began to cry over the condition of God's people. No matter what he preached and prophesied, it didn't work with him. They wasn't hearing that. It got to even one point he said, I'm done, I quit. I ain't preaching to these folks no more. I'm done. Peace. See, you don't want to be. In the 15 years that I've been pastor, I've had some moments like Jeremiah. I'm done. I said, I'm done. I'm tired of preaching to some of these folks. But I thank God for two people now. I said, I thank God for you all. But I'm talking in, in my history. People lying on you. Somebody even lied. Said, I took money from the church just to send my children to AIM. They want to go to AIM. But they found ways of themselves to go for AIM. Brother Clarence sold his equipment. Is is what did you sell? <laughs> Instruments that we paid for. Musical instrument, horns, or whatever, flutes, saxophone. That's what, that's what it was. A saxophone. Just to get to aim. Didn't ask us anything. He said, I'm going to aim. Amen. Brother Clayton did the same thing. He sold a horn and some percussion instruments or something. What was that? I don't know how Clarissa got there. was on a mission but we were lied on they said we took church's money to send them to aim first of all we work we don't that's one thing God has put in me as a pastor from day one don't misuse God's money Some folks fall into that trap. But I determined it wasn't going to be me. It wasn't going to be me. We went through that for a while until God began to deliver. That lie was going around. I didn't even want to show my face. Because I was, I was wondering, who knows? Who knows? Anybody, what did anybody heard? That is the devil that operates on your mind. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. This is a tried way. The only way you can make it is you got to trust God. Because there's going to be some times. You're going to feel like, where are you, Lord? There's going to be some times you're going to feel like you're by yourself. How long have you been pastor? Three years? God has truly blessed you. I said, God has truly blessed you. You hear me? We started from scratch. Right in my kitchen and living dining room. We use the island. I use the island as a, as a, uh, a podium. 
And I preached to my family. I said, Lord, how am I going to preach to my family like that? It's a preacher like you got a, a thousand people in front of you. Sunday after Sunday, I preached to my family. My children were little. And they started playing the music. Can, can I testify? But Brother Clayton had, he took some of our pots and pans and made, made himself a drum set. I, I didn't know he had a knack for playing drums because he was still little. And the Lord said, go buy some drums. I bought some drums and, and, and Brother Clarence, uh, he, he, he played the the saxophones and, and all that. He could not play the keyboards. And I'm saying, Lord, we, I need someone to be able to play keyboards or organ or something. And one day I was watching a PBS special. One Saturday morning, he was in bed sleep. And, I, and, I, and it was on instructions how to play a piano. And God said, go get, go get Clarence. I woke him up when he got himself together. How old was your Clarence? He was young. He sat there and looked at this special. And after his old wit, he said, you know, I think I can do that. Because of the keys are similar. So the Lord said, go buy a keyboard. And, 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 and Sister Clarissa, she would be singing around the house. She still does it. And the Lord said, you got a choir now. <laughs> God has finally blessed us. We're not where the place where we want to be. But right now, we, we're on our way. Yeah. Walking. Everybody say walking. walking. Trusting. Trusting. Living. Living. In the favor of God. Favor of God. Can, I, can I say something real quick? Lady Edwards. I don't know if you remember years ago. I've been pastoring 15 years. It had to be at least 20 years ago. The Lord gave me a dream concerning Lady Edwards. I'm not going to tell y'all the dream. And I don't know if she remembered. Do you remember when I talked to you? And there were some things in the dream that she desired. And the Lord said, she can have those things, but not here. That means at Robinson Temple. One of the things, and God did bless her in some of those things. One thing I'm going to tell you what the last part of what, what she desired was to, to be a first lady. We can have desires like that, y'all. You know that? Didn't y'all know that? But the Lord said, not right then. I told her, the Lord says, not right here. He didn't say not now, but not right here. You done come full circle now. Come on, clap your hands for her. Sometimes things take a while. Everything is not like popcorn. Some things take years. Sarah and Abram, they, like, they waited years. They waited how many? 25 years. They was old when it was told to them they were going to have a child. And when it came to pass, they, were already, they was older. But God still holds on to his promises. Can I read 
verse 8. And it says, For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spread it out her roots by the river and shall not see when the heat and shall uh, when the heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, mm-hmm. yeah. and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. That right there is evident of Saint Timothy Tabernacle. During the whole pandemic, y'all was on online. Am I right? Amen. Brother Clayton, go over and help play drums. Amen. And I and you know what? That's just why you got to be careful of your thoughts, mm-hmm. because God hears your thoughts. And I was looking online. I said, Lord, I'd like to see that. See how they got that set up. But by then, I was we was already back in our own church. I said, I, I, I know I just can't leave my own church, just go over and see that. See how they set up. But guess what? God did it. Yeah. Now I'm seeing what it's set up. Yeah. I thank him for the small things. Yeah. You got to thank him for the small things. Yeah. Blessed. Is the man, mm-hmm. let, me, let me stop right there. Blessed is the man. And I'm looking at uh, uh, your theme, walking. When you are walking, you're going somewhere. I don't know anybody that takes off walking. And don't know where they're going. Because when you do that, you really, you're lost. Walking. So you, 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 you are headed in a direction. You got a principal direction that you're heading. And we as a people of God... We are headed in the right direction. Amen, somebody. I don't know about y'all, but my walking, I'm heading towards heaven. I'm not going the other way. I'm walking towards heaven. While I was sitting there a little bit ago, God sometimes deals with me in different ways. I saw a while well, everybody was shouting, I saw a car wash. I saw a car going through a car wash. I'm thinking, okay, Lord, what you trying to show me? In this car. I mean, anybody been to Mike's car wash, what they call Cruise now? Crew car. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say something familiar. And they come out to you, they ask you what you want to pay for. They got the premium. Unlimited. Uh, uh, uh. What's the cheapest one? Basic. 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 <laughs> I went through a car wash one time. And I paid for basic. And I was behind another car. And, they, and, they, and, they, and when they're busy, they put pack them cars bumper to, almost bumper to bumper. And so whatever the, the car in the head of me must have had unlimited or premium. And, 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 and Elder, uh, I was thinking, because I saw the lights. You know how they light up? <laughs> I saw what he was getting. I 
So he's getting premium. And they packing us in close together. I'm going to get some of that premium wise. Yeah, I got part of the premium. The front of my car was premium. But when I walked to the back of it, it was basic. We cannot get to heaven. The front of us looking premium. And look, when we look toward the backside of us, we're basic. Lord, I didn't want to say all that. He's making me do it, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm volunteering. Yeah, I'm doing it too. Yeah. Mm. Can I go to verse five? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm walking all around Jeremiah. Verse 5 in this same chapter says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and maketh, his, maketh flesh his arm whose heart departed from the Lord. God always tells us he's going to bless us. But, everybody say but. But. On the flip side, there are some clear warnings. I think about Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Uh I, I, I love that book. It, it, it goes on to tell us, bless. Let me, let me, let me read. Let me, let, let, let me read. Let me, you know what? Thank, thank God. When I open my Bible, I just turn straight to it. And it's not marked. This is what God do for you. It, it, Deuteronomy 20. I'm just about doing y'all. I know y'all tired. But, but, but I got to do this. And it said, it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and if I say and and these blessings shall come on thee I like this part and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God and it goes on to say blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep blessed shall be thy basket and thy store blessed shall thou when thou comest in and shall be thou when thou goest out and this is where we are the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face and that shall come out against thee one way look at your neighbor and say neighbor flee before thee 
seven ways. Look at your neighbor, my enemies. It's going to flee seven ways. Because I'm blessed of the Lord. Walking, trusting, living in the favor of God. Yes. Somebody say yes. Say yes. Say yes. When you look at Deuteronomy, thank you, Lord, I hear you. Deuteronomy wasn't anything new. It was something they already knew. It wasn't something that God came out of, of a tree basket. But it was something that God already told them. So Deuteronomy is a recap before you go into your blessing. Sometimes we need a recap to get our blessings. Sometimes we need a recap and go over what God has told us. If we want God to bless us, St. Timothy Tabernacle, I believe y'all done went through y'all recap. And now y'all walking into your blessings. Look at your name and say, I am blessed. Walking, trusting. When you trust somebody, that means you can't see what they're doing. You can't hear what they're doing. You can't hear what they're saying. But you believe in. They're going to do the right thing. I trust the Lord. Sometimes he tells me what he's going to do for me. But that there are times he don't tell me because God don't owe us anything. But we owe him praise. Right now that it's time for a praise him. Pastor Edwards, I'm going to say this, and I'm just about done. When God called me to pastor, I stayed up under Elder Winfrey for a whole year. God told me, go to Elder Winfrey and tell him you he's been called to pastor. And I said, Lord, when, I, when am I supposed to go? He said, I'll tell you later. So for a whole year, I stayed up under Elder Winfrey for a whole year. I knew what God had told me. I went to every district meeting. I went to every jurisdictional meeting. I did what God told me to do. I still paid my time. Y'all didn't hear me. I didn't say my tithes for my own church. God didn't tell me to do that. He said, stay up under them and learn. Stay up under Elder Winfrey and hear. Stay right there and get your head bumped. Stay right there and get some praise from him. Stay right there. when I really start learning of the Lord. I've been saved all those years. But God in that year took me to another level. I'm telling you hold on. Pastor Amen. Hold on. Because there's going to be some time when you want to give it up. But hold on. Winfrey. He's going to let you go because I'm going to have a talk with him myself. And God told me when I send you out, don't do the 
the sin of Moses. I said, what? He said, don't do the sin of Moses. And I didn't. I couldn't think what, what, what the sin of Moses was. And you know what? I went back and got in my Bible. Went over Exodus. I went over the whole book. And I didn't see anything. I kept going. Then I finally read. God told Moses to speak to the rock. He told him, speak to the rock. And I'm going to give them water. Moses got mad. He's the meekest man on the earth. That's what the Bible says. He was so meek. He couldn't even talk for himself. He had a stuttering problem. He wasn't confident enough to talk for himself. He was that meek. And those people made him mad. He took that staff and hit the rock. when I read it I said now I know no matter what is done don't do like Moses because that thing it came out water yes it did but but Moses couldn't cross over that cost him sometimes our anger can't cost us but don't let it happen to you. And so, since I had that knowledge, don't do what Moses did. I tried to do like Jonah or Jeremiah because they lied on me. My integrity was attacked and God wouldn't let me give up because he showed me a dream, a trance. We was in a shut-in at Robson Temple. I'm gonna say this, I'm done for real, y'all. I was in, I, we, y'all remember them, them shut ins? Every three hours, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, all the way around the clock for three days. And it was in the middle of the night. I think it was before the three o'clock prayer. And I got up, walked around, everybody was asleep on the pews. And I looked up, and I saw a big fish. It wasn't a whale, it was a big fish. The New Testament calls it a, 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 a whale, but I think the Old Testament calls it a fish. Y'all, y'all, y'all can correct me later. I saw a big fish swimming around the sanctuary. I was in the back of the church. This is when, this is when he called me to preach. And I wouldn't go to Elder Winfrey and tell him. I was a deacon. I was happy to stay a deacon. That was my thought. And I saw this fish. It was swimming slow. Oh, just imagine with me. It was slowly going around the sanctuary. It went around again. And I'm following this big fish. I was like, where's it going? By the time it got to the center aisle, it made a sharp turn towards me and opened his mouth and engulfed me. I jumped and it scared me so bad. When I got out of that, I couldn't wait to get out of that shut in. I said, Elder Winfrey, the Lord called me to preach. I said, Elder Winfrey, can I talk to you? I said, Elder Winfrey, can I talk to you? And to me, he wasn't moving fast enough. But I had to wait on him. He said, yeah, how, how can I help you? 
I said, Lord, come to preach. He said, I see. You know, Zerdy Roberts Temple, y'all remember when Elder Winfrey said, Oh, I see. <laughs> Who remember those? Yeah. I'd rather say, No, never mind. And the Lord brought back to my remembrance that fish <laughs> was swimming around. I knew that was Jonah. Because Jonah ran the other way. Saints, there's some things that God has for us to do. But listen to your pastors. Can I say that again? I'm speaking for all pastors now. We're living in a day where people just up and do they anything, whatever they want. And say God has told them to do it. But if you're under your pastor, you can't skip past your pastor. Say it, sir. Can I say that again? That's what I was taught. You can't skip past your leader. And expect God's blessing. We want to be under the will of God. Yes, I'm a pastor, but I'm under a superintendent. I am under leadership. And our superintendent is under a bishop. And our bishop is under, under the presiding bishop. There's an order to do this thing. Everybody stand to the feet. I see it says... Uh, call this discipleship. Y'all have somebody special for that? Everybody stand to your feet. Y'all can guess through my testimony. Take, take that off. Y'all can, y'all can see from my own testimony. I could have made things easier for myself. Are y'all hearing me? Elder Winfrey had a, every right to thump my head. Because sometimes I got disobedient in Bible band. Or Sunday school. Since I knew the word and somebody come up and didn't quite, wasn't quite up to what I thought my level was, I'm going to correct them. Well, who am I to correct God? And that's why I'm some of the things where I got my own head from. It wasn't his fault. It was my thought. But you don't have to follow my path. Are oh, y'all hearing me? It's easier when the Lord is working with you and you go to your leader. Anybody want to be saved? Now's your time, your hour, your opportunity. Because this is Church of God in Christ. We believe in signs, miracles, and wonders. Yes, I'm looking for my own miracle. But until then, I'm going to still preach the gospel. Uh, until then. This thing could follow me to the grave, but I'm still preaching the gospel. Anybody need prayer? Just raise your hand right where you are. If you got a prayer for yourself or somebody else. Father, we thank you. We thank you for who you are in our lives. Now, God, we thank you right now. Look on this church. Look on this pastor. Pastor Edwards and District Missionary Edwards. His wife by his side. Look on his children. Look on this congregation. Look on everyone that's here, Lord. Look on Temple of Hope. Every church that's represented. All these pastors. Have your way right now. God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, if anybody need to be saved, save, Lord. Anybody need the Holy Ghost, Lord, refill them with the Holy Ghost. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. 
Because we know there's one baptism, but there's many feelings. If anybody needs to be refilled, do it now, Lord. Huh, glory to your name, Lord. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this neighborhood. Have your way in our homes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let your blood prevail, God. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, have your way with this pastor. This is three years. Let him have many more years. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. Strengthen everyone that's in this place. Lord, we thank for the hospitality that's given in this place. Have your way right now. We plead in the blood right now. Wherever the blood needs to be applied, God, we ask that you apply the blood and let a miracle take place in the name of Jesus. And with this, we believe, we believe you at your word. We trust in you at your word. We're walking, trusting, and living in the favor of God. And we thank you and give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Clap your hands, everybody, if you believe God. Clap your hands if you believe God. Whatever you had before God, clap your hands and receive it. Thank God for Pastor Clarence Powell. Amen. Amen. The word, amen on the day. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. I do honor everyone here in the roster. Everyone, thank God for each and every one of the past represented Pastor Sullen, Pastor amen. Norris, Pastor Avan, and, uh, and their wives. Amen. Sweet sister. Mother Sullen. Uh, Missionary Crystal and Missionary Felicia, uh, Avan. Thank God for everyone that's here. Amen. And I was thanking God for the word of the day. And I'm going to say something that um, uh, some years ago, uh, me and Pastor Powell, as he said, we got ordained in 1998 and, uh, up in Kokomo where we got, went to the board together in 1998. Amen. And from that point on, we, as four of us got ordained that same day, uh, same in, up in uh, Fort Wayne. And it was uh, out, of, out of four people, uh, actually four, our, three are, assistant, are, are pastors, and one is assistant pastor, amen? Amen. But God know what he was doing, amen? Praise God. But in but 2018, after my, uh, 2018 has kind of been a little harder for me. In 2018, my father passed. And, you know, uh, things happened, transpired, and, you know, I was kind of, you know, absent from church because I was still grieving, amen? And I, I began to think about it, and you know, people, people like pastors say they, they will allow on you, tell, say, say this and say that about you. And you know, at that point, I wouldn't answer the telephone call because I really wasn't receiving no calls at all. But Pastor Powell said something. He called and, on, and left it on the, on the uh, voicemail. He said, L. Edwards, this doesn't really matter what they're talking about. It doesn't matter at all. He said, you take your time and grieve because when you love your father the way you love your father, then it's the time for you to deal with certain things. Some people just, they bounce back like it didn't happen. Uh, but I had a close relationship with my father, yes, and amen. Yes. And I mean, he talked to him. He just left that message on, that, on, on, on the voicemail, and I thank God for him. He don't know how that hurt, encouraged me, amen. Oh, yes. And I thank God for him, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But, I do want to let you know that I am saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost with fire. Amen. Amen. I thank God my mother is over there on the side right there. Hallelujah. Missionary. 
Amen. Evangeline Amen. Edwards, thank God for her. Amen. Amen. As well as they, they surprised us. They didn't even tell us they was coming, they was coming up at all. Praise God. But thank God for my baby sister and my my niece and my nephews that came with her also Amen. from Gary and Maryville. Amen. Praise God. I, I just I thank God just the opportunity. I thank you each thank God for each and every one of you all that showed came up here and and uh, support us. Thank God for everyone. If I don't call your name, I'll say, "Thank God for everyone in here." Amen. Yes, Lord. I think First Lady's gonna do more, more do some more, some give more. Uh, uh, make, but I thank God for my church mother. Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. give Mother Mother Sarah, Sarah Lee Gray. Sarah Lee Amen. Gray. Amen. Amen. And, and all the church members and all the committee members of the anniversary committee, I thank God for each and every everything that you have done. Amen. Amen. Uh, you have done an excellent job. Amen. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I love you. Amen. Amen. And I appreciate everything you're doing. And as we do, as I said earlier in 20, we're going we're gonna to pray. We're not going to panic, but we're going to pray. Amen. And that's what we can continue on. We're, gonna, we're not going to panic about certain things, but we're going to pray. Right. I'm going to see, we'll see what God does. And God has done some great things, amen, in St. Timothy, amen. Yes. And I thank God for all the support of the members. And I'm going to turn it a little over to my wife, evangelist, missionary, district missionary, Leilani, I would say amen to her. Amen. Amen. We just thank God for being here today, amen, this day, amen. We just thank God I could say a whole lot, but I know that you all have been very patient. Amen. You've been very loving, and it's just a blessing to see each and every one of you. I was thinking when we begin, I, uh, I told Pastor last week, I told him on last night, I told him this morning, I want to I, I wanna praise God and blow the roof off this place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And he looked at me and said, baby, let's don't blow the roof off. Amen. Amen. Don't blow the roof uh -huh. off. But I think you all did a wonderful job in magnifying uh -huh. our Lord. He's been good. Woo, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Woo, he's been good. He's been better than good. Amen, amen. Oh, my God. And you know, hallelujah, when I was looking around, I was panning this, the congregation. I thought about all the beautiful gifts each and every one of you had. All the talents, hallelujah. Everything that God, you know what, when we get to heaven, All right. woo, All right. we going to have a time. Yes, but you know what, God, let us get together today to have a roof up, amen, in the spiritual realm because we know God is good. Yeah, yes, he is. And I'm going to tell you, I got to tell you just this one testimony, and I'm going to just put the mic down. Uh -huh. But the other day, I didn't know Sister Felicia. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I hadn't talked to my godmother or my godfather. Uh -huh. But I woke up and the Lord kept giving me only God can do it. Only God can do it. Hallelujah. Lord. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Woo. Hallelujah. Got to hear it. I played it over. Over. Over, got to dancing in the shower, got to praising God. Woo! And I said, Lord, I thank you. And I began to call the different saints. Papa Felicia, the Lord put you in my spirit. I got to dancing, praising God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. My God, sister. to my godmother. She said you had visited the doctor and had got a great report. Somebody said, only God can only do, God it. do it. Only God can 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 do it.
high for everyone. Amen. I guess y'all ain't, y'all, y'all don't want to leave, huh? I guess y'all want to be in church some more, right? Well, let the Lord have us, but go ahead. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only God can Known to shut the church down after the church been shut down. That's what we've been known to do. We closed out here, and then all of a sudden we are still here. But if God does something, only God can do it. So that's we lift our hands and Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah.
I was talking to uh, Ella Hatchet, Hatchet on, on the day about the old dad at, 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 at Red Life. He had a guitar. I said, you ought to bring, you ought to bring your guitar. And all of a sudden, when he said next time, and all of a sudden, I looked around, and there he is. He brought his brother guitar today. But I thank God for him. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Thank God. Come on. I know y'all want to stay here a little longer. We got four more hours to midnight. If y'all want to stay to midnight. Amen. Hallelujah. But I thank God. I thank God for you one. But on Friday night, that's what I speak on, on Friday night. The guitar player over here. With our speaker, amen. Thank God for him, amen. Did an excellent job, amen. So I thank God for everyone that's here. And I, I want to thank God for all the churches that's represented here. Our uh, speaker on the day, Pastor Clarence Powell. Thank God for Temple of Hope. Thank God for Bread of Life. Thank God for 28th Street, Church of God in Christ, Long Ministry. Uh, Serenity, the Prince of Peace. Thank God for everyone, amen. But I want y'all to continue on trusting in God, amen. And walking in the favor of God, amen. Walking, trusting, and living in the favor of God. It gets better, y'all. It's getting better. It gets better serving the Lord, don't it? It gets better serving Him, don't it? But I want you to continue on walking in God's favor, amen. We thank God for you. Continue on praying for us as we do the work with ministry, amen. I want an announcement coming up. Y'all have an announcement here. Amen. Go ahead, hello, Jr. Amen. Amen. We thanking God for each and every one of you here. Amen. We, I know we're going to go out in the praise, but, uh, you know, I know we've worked up a, a, a Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost lather. lather. Amen. And I know that you might want something a little sweet. Uh -huh. Amen. So when you go out the door, amen, get you a piece of cake or some apple pie. We got it for you. Amen. I want you to enjoy. Amen. We have feasted spiritually. Now you can enjoy something naturally. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Mama Van, would you like to have something to say? God bless you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, Sister Melissa, make your way this way. Amen. Pastor, yeah. Amen. Amen. You can open up and see what it is. Amen. All right, you just like me. Watch people, amen, amen. <laughs> amen. All right. We're ready to close out the service. Come on, Sister Melissa, amen. Thank God for Sister Kim Brown next. Thank God, amen. You hear, amen. Thank God for everyone, amen. At this time, we're going to just come come with benediction. We're going to all stand. Amen. God, we thank you first. We thank you, oh God, for our pastor and our wife and our three-year service in ministry. We pray, God, we pray for good health. We pray, God, wealth, and we pray, God, favor over their lives forevermore. Now, Lord, as we leave this place, God, be with us as we travel home. And we'll forever love you and praise you and trust you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and let the peace of God be with you all.